Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ice Ice Outpost, where I hope you have your very warm winter gear ready, because it is so cold! It is so cold! And look at everybody, our guests are freezing! Our animals are enjoying the cold because they happen to be covered in a ton of adorable little feathers that keep them completely prepared for this kind of storm. Look at this little chick! Look how fluffy you are! The little chicks need to be able to stand on their own and be able to withstand the very, very cold Arctic temperatures. So this little guy actually is covered in tons and tons of down feathers that should help him be able to do just that, survive the temperatures without being too worried. But he does not have his waterproof feathering yet. So if you guys have noticed, all of our king penguin chicks are actually sticking to the shore. And they might kind of dabble along the shorelines, but they are not jumping into the waters yet because until they become mature and have those thick feathers that will actually be able to keep them nice and warm and waterproof when they're diving in here, they will not be able to, uh, to get into the water at all. In fact, I think that they would potentially even drown because those feathers would really kind of bog them down or they'd at least freeze to death. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. All right, I could go diving with these penguins and just watch them swim for ages. This is absolutely majestic. But all right, hopefully today we will have time to focus on some of that majesty because our penguins are no longer escaping now that we no longer have waterproof fencing along here. And the seals are no longer fussing because they are able to get up and down from their little seal way right over here. <gasps> And do we have good news with the vet research? Let's go ahead and check. Huzzah! We've learned a little bit more about the gray seals, so we can hopefully start making them a little bit happier too. And the penguin research is carrying on with penguin expert Ross, who is highly trained at this point. That's fantastic. It is very, very sad that Cooper the wolf is actually... Oh my goodness, one second, guys. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. Rest in peace, Cooper. Oh my goodness. He was with us for so long. We're going to have to go ahead and figure out what we're going to be doing with our Arctic wolves pretty soon too, because we are actually thinking about moving some of our Arctic wolves onto an island somewhere over here. Though now that we know how much trouble it is to actually get these islands together, definitely the best thing to probably do in the future from now on is to make these waterways separate from one another with just like a little hidden spot where it looks like, oh, maybe Maybe just some rocks fell down that are kind of, you know, making making a little bit of a blockade. Also, we're going to hide the fencing later when we have some time to put down some rocks. And then you can expand and contract the islands without having to worry about ruining your entire sea. So that's definitely something we'll work on in the future. But today, my friends, is hopefully going to be all about making the penguins and seals happier. Huzzah! Especially now that we have a whole bunch of research done on them. Also, what have we done here? Habitat space, satisfy the gray will water area requirement. Yay, we actually got a bonus for like making people happy about the seals. That is ridiculously cool. All right, and speaking of the seals and speaking of the penguins, let's actually see if there's some more we can adopt off of the animal trading center for now, because we can have up to, I believe, eight seals in each group. And right now we have two females, one male, and one juvenile. So males have a dominance hierarchy. Older males tend to have their own harem. Oh, that's so interesting. I would love to learn. Oh, no, Elena, the Arctic wolf. Wow. Oh, she's about to die of old age, but look at her. Oh, I'm going to miss our Arctic wolves. They really are kind of, oh my gosh, this slope is a little steep for her. Oh, that's beautiful just to watch her, isn't it? But our Arctic wolves really are going to be leaving it to the next generation to be able to handle... Oh, there's one of the pups! To be able to handle life here in the wilds. Oh. Oh no, that's so sad! Her son actually watched her pass away. Oh my gosh, Aaliyah, we're gonna go ahead. Oh, and he's just a little orphan pup! No, don't think about it too much, Siri. I'm sure he has other... Like, he's got... Is he all by himself right now? <gasps> is he all by himself right now? I do not need to start my day with a little orphaned wolf pup. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's it. Hang on. I've got to pull up some fresh names. And we're going to actually name this little guy. Oh, we're going to name him Ko. After you, Sharon. For your last name, we're actually going to go ahead. We're going to name him Ko. And he is our poor little wolf. He's all by himself right now. Maybe we can find him a female 
to take over the the Broen Mountain Wolf area. Because he really is the only one all by himself. Oh, little Ko, I'm so sorry. Here, we'll go ahead and I think we'll get him his own, like, pillar right over here. I don't know what generation we're on, so we're just going to go with Ko. And we'll just name these after, like, the various wolves that we have inhabit Rowan Mountain. Maybe one day we can make a huge, really cool cave system over here. Oh, that would look amazing with a bunch of icicles coming up from the bottom and coming down from the top like icicle stalagmites and stalactites and we might put like some little hidden exhibits in there and some peeking little ways where you can sneak in and peek in on the wolves kind of like we have for this cave that we made down here which i'm still pretty proud about yeah that'll be really fun but all right, like I said, this place is so big. Ice Ice Outpost is so huge. We really do need to focus on kind of one thing at a time. And Jade, let's move you out of the way, my dear. And for now, it's going to be the seals and the penguins. So let's see if we can get our hands on any more of them. We can get another male gray seal. Okay, let's try getting this guy, Walcott. What a name. We'll give him a new name after one of you guys from the comments you all have left on previous videos when he gets here. And then let's actually go ahead and we're going to look for just more penguins of either gender. There we go. All right. And here is a male, a male penguin. I think we have several female penguins. Here we go. So that'll be exciting to be able to have another penguin. We can have up to 500 penguins. So I promise you, there's going to be a lot of penguins. We might eventually just have to make like a gigantic penguin zone. All right, let's adopt. Ah, uh, I don't have enough storage space for any more penguins at the moment. All right, so two penguins it is, or one penguin and a new seal it is. All right, buddy, welcome. And how is his social? Whoops. Is his social going to be? Oh, he's a little stressed, but he's really happy about the size of the social group. And we're actually going to name him... Oh, Bouncer! Oh, what a cute name for a penguin. I love that, Wolfie Girl. Thank you. That is adorable. Also, Christmas joy now! No interbreeding! I'm going to go ahead and move Christmas joy over here. There we go. And then we have a new king penguin. Let me go ahead and pull up a another wonderful name. And right over here, this is actually going to be Echo. What a cool name. I love it. All right, Echo, you're added on in as well. So now we have a couple new members, which should definitely help out. Oh, look at everybody's over here eating some fish. I hope it's high quality fish for our penguins. That should make the little colonies that we're building very happy. And who's unhappy? Why are my seals stressed? All right, I think she's a little stressed because there's so many people over here. So let's tell the people to be quiet. <laughs> because if we if we keep security high around here so that when people come to visit, they stay quiet, it should keep our seals happy. There we go. And I don't think they'll be bothered by the people who are over here. So that's good. Look, and the penguins are hanging out on this island. Yes, we'll have to like redecorate that and give it a special little like secondary island name soon. But I like to see this is kind of where all of the baby penguins end up in their little baby penguin colony. That's adorable. All right, so let's see what we can do for the penguins today. Habitat wise, they would like to have a little bit more soil and a little bit more sand. So let's actually come over. This is, we lost the sand that we used to have over here due to having to smooth out the ground here. Yeah, they want more sand over here. Right now it's all snow, so I wonder if, can we get sand down here? Will that count? I'm not sure. I think this just like counts as rock. Does the stuff in the, I think it's like all covered in snow right now oh no this counts cool all right so we'll get a lot of sand down over here it's a beach it's a little penguin beach for them how fun this is counting is making them happy oh look at our little baby seals over here all right so we'll get some take out the grass there come down over here this counts as some of their exhibit so that should make them happy 
that we've changed the grass over here as well. Oh my gosh, they want a lot of sand. <laughs> Alright, let's come over to the little island. And maybe this will count too. Jeez Louise, do we need like sand underwater too? This is a lot! I thought that like the sand would count if we were just... Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, so now we've got their, their sand requirement down. And maybe if I come over here with the soil... Is that soil? Oh yeah, that's a heavy soil. All right, now I've ruined the sand. Oh my gosh. Penguins, you're so picky. But there's a lot of land spots that I don't think I really noticed while I was putting down the fencing. Got penguin fencing there. Some stuff over here. There's some spots over here. There we go. All right, and let's get their, their sand requirement back up somehow. All right, what do they think about that? Oh, now they don't have enough soil! Oh my gosh, all right. We're dealing with some very fussy penguins at the moment. All right, now they have enough soil and we just need to do a little bit more sand. Somewhere around here. To be able to make them totally happy. Maybe this way? I don't mind kind of being meticulous and putting down little patches of sand for our penguins if it makes them happy. And now we need a little more soil. Oh, we've upset the balance. All right, you know what? I think that's good enough. There we go. They do need to have some more hard shelters. So let's actually see if we can maybe build a smaller hard shelter somewhat like these shelters over here. If we can put like some sort of nice cave. It all oh, looks like a pile of food actually shows up over here for them too. That's excellent. Who's chilling over here? We have Yuriko. We've got Aline. We've got Billy. Yay! All right, these guys seem to be having a great time. They're just wobbling on over to grab some fish. We'll have to make it so guests can come closer to see them. And then, what kind of cool habitat should we give these guys? <gasps> okay, giving them like an igloo habitat would be amazing, actually. Oh, we might be able to give them like a cute little, a cute little igloo right here. This is a whole Arctic scene. Oh my gosh. This looks so cool with the way that somebody's even made it so that you've got like the plants hanging down over here. Holy cow, that is so cool. That is not something we can actually use, but so cool. All right, penguin shelter would be like yay big. Hmm. I do want to do something, but I think I want just something really small over here. Not a giraffe house. That absolutely is not what I'm thinking of. Let's do beds and shelters. Hmm. You know, just a little something like this, just a small little shelter. We're on a really bad day. A, where are you going? Are you gonna climb that? Are you really, what are you doing? Where do you think you're going, penguin? How, how are my penguins constantly? Okay, you're just coming over here to make a bit of a mess. I see how it is. I'm constantly amazed at how my penguins are the ones who are always trying to escape on us. There we go, a little bit of hard shelter over here. Hey, and that actually made the penguins happy. They're like, yeah, if, it, if a really bad storm shows up, I can just kind of shelter over here. Nice. All right, what else do we need to do to make penguins happy? They would like to have some more toys. So what kind of toy enrichment can we now give our little, our little colony of penguins? Slowly but surely expanding, no longer escaping. Thank freaking goodness. <laughs> All right, let's find out. So species, we want king penguin right now. Oh my gosh, look at them waddle. <gasps> and we do have, <gasps> we have the platform floats. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Let's see what these do. Are these going to have our penguins just like jump out of the water now and like land on these? Because that will be one of the most epic things ever. Why are you people all screaming and running away? Cowards, it's a baby penguin. A baby penguin. Why are they all running away? Huh. 
We don't have any alert about like an animal getting loose and the other half of the people. Yes, we fully researched the king penguins. Huzzah, good job. Good job. And there's apparently a ton of litter that we need to go ahead and take care of at some point too. Huh, I do not know why the penguins suddenly counted as escaped, little escaped animals, but hopefully everything will be okay. We have a whole bunch of, is that my seal? Hey, what you doing down here, water wolf boy? That's so cool that the seals just like hover under the water. Hey, and I wonder if they're, they actually use those platforms because they seem to be pretty content. Now let's see what the seals use. Species, and we're gonna go ahead and go for gray seal. I love spending time under the water and they use the platform floats too. <gasps> yes, this is gonna be so cool. Okay, let's go ahead and put down a underwater feeder box over here because I would love just to be surprised by seeing them all feeding. And we'll put another one over there. And then let's put some snowballs up on... Wait, why is everyone running away now? Huh. Are we missing someone? All right, Mahir, Jade, Pebble Rose, Bouncer, Good so far. All right, and then we can actually improve the quality of food for all of our gray seals. Okay, Billy, Thorn, Aline, Fox, Eureka, Noah, Stone, Stone, Stone. It's Stone, he's doing something, maybe. I think he swam. I think he swam like literally just a little bit under one of the barricades we have. And like, I guess people heard a penguin like squawking under their feet and decided, oh my gosh, this is the end times. I didn't know this is how I was going to go out, but I was going to be attacked under like water by a penguin. I have no idea why people panicked like that. That was so silly. All right. Are you going to use the platform? Not this time. But how cool is that? I'm so excited that we have the platforms down. That should definitely take good care of the penguins. And, oh, speaking of taking good care of the penguins, people are not learning anything about them. Which reminds me, we don't even have our habitat, like, speaker over here. Oh my gosh, we have got to fix this. For this animal talk, we absolutely need to come on in. And this is going to be the penguin um, and seal corner. Uh, penguin and seal talk. And we're going to come in and select the penguin, the king penguin, and we want to start the talk in March, and we're going to manage the work zone. We're going to assign this to the shipwreck zone. Oh, look at that. There we go. None of these were in the shipwreck zone. Hopefully that will now help to add them in. And we need to actually hire, I think, our very first educator. I can't believe we have gone this long without using the educators. That's like my dream job. Oh my gosh, okay. And we're gonna go ahead and hire another one of our wonderful patrons. And if you guys wanna help us out on all of the adventures we have here in the Pixel Biology community, do please consider joining our Patreon. We have a great time over there and a lot of fun things happening, including some specialized postcards going out this month. Oh my gosh, and our artist did an amazing job on the postcards this month. I'm really excited. But this is going to be... Mikey! All right, so Mikey, you're gonna come on over and you're gonna be our penguin expert. So we're gonna, we're gonna um, call you, hmm, maybe talks with penguins? Penguin translator. Mikey, and it's so good to see you for another month, Mikey. Thank you so much for helping us out and keeping our wonderful adventures going. It really means the world. All right, good, and we have this under repairs now. Excellent, excellent. And now we're gonna have an educator come over here in March, I hope. <gasps> and they can throw food in for the penguins. Are you kidding me? That would be so cool. Oh, but they aren't gonna give their next talk until like next year. Okay, that's not so cool. Let's try doing a talk maybe in July, maybe sooner than that, May. Yes, okay, they might come and do a talk during May. That would be so cool. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to let our new penguin translator, Mikey, work on uh, figuring out what they wanna do. And then we're gonna keep an eye on these platforms 
because I would love to see the animals use them. But did you guys notice, other than a little bit of screaming, we didn't even have a big escape this time. Yes! Wait, was that stone again? I am so suspicious. Oh my gosh, I think that is stone. I think this is the this is the culprit right over here. Right over here, maybe, perhaps. All right, we're gonna keep a close eye on these guys. But all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like for all of our wonderful penguins now finally staying in place like they are supposed to. I'm so relieved. And if you would like to go ahead and join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.